Hello, this is David with Hanson Carlin Architecture and Construction. Today we're going to talk to you about barn doors. What we have today is, is we have a, uh, a regular uh, smooth barn door and the owner wanted this door to look like a, um, an old fashioned door, you know, that you would see on an old barn from the 18th, 1800s. Unfortunately, the doors for this size door, this is a 14 by 16 door, is incredibly expensive. They wanted uh, about $8,000 for a door that had a, a pattern on it and the X pattern on this large of a door. And the owner said, no, that, we, we, we don't want to spend that kind of money on the door. So what we did was we, um, we bought a flush panel door. This is a regular smooth door and we applied um, some cedar battens onto it and uh, to, to, give it the, to give it this X pattern. It was tricky to figure out how to do it because we were worried that the battens might come, uh, come off in the heat or, or, or warp. And so what we did with it is we used 6,000 adhesive on, and we took the 6,000 adhesive and smeared it all over the back of it. If you haven't ever used 6,000 adhesive, it's amazing stuff. It sticks to anything and it really, uh, I, I learned about it from a friend in church and it really is an amazing product. So we smeared that on and then if you look carefully here you can see that we use some sheet metal screws that are self-tapping to hold all of the all of the pieces in place when we did it. Okay, so we have about a day of labor into this and probably a lot less money than six thousand dollars. Another thing I wanted to mention is, is when we added the weight to the cedar of the door the garage door person had to uh, recalculate the spring the spring size because we're carrying extra weight with the door. It has a pretty pleasing look. The painter uh, painted the whole thing, the body first, and then he trimmed out the red. 